This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Amza and Miss Melody. And we're working on a little bit of lateral work here, keeping Melody's back up. And notice how relaxed Miss Melody is. That's right. Pick up your outside reins so she shifts back into her neck. Supple, supple. That's right. That's her adjusting her back. Do you feel it? Yeah. So she's not doing anything wrong. She's like, what do you mean I have to carry my back as I do this? Take your time. Praise her a lot. Come down the center line. You can go from a shoulder in into a half pass feeling. Yep, or you can do a leg yield if you want to do a leg yield feeling. That's it. Good. So half pass is just a shoulder in. Put your weight in your left seat. That's right. Keep your that's right. Keep your weight on the left seat bone. Well, she's used to you doing leg yields, whether your angle is too sharp. So you want to think for a half pass, it would be like from where I am to the letter K. See the letter K there? Do you see where I am? So you do a shoulder in, then you can half pass at this angle and end up at R. So from where you are there, you're going to end up at R. Look at the letter R. You should be able to see between her ears. That's right. Supple her more. Supple her more. Supple her more. Okay, you're only going to do half the distance and straighten out because she can't do the whole distance right now without getting tired. So you're only going to think. You'll do half one. But did you see the angle we took for that? Good. Same thing on the other side. You're going to do a shoulder in into a half pass, half the length of the ring. Keep her under your seat because this is going to push your buttons a little bit. Good. Now think with your seat and legs. Remember the distance. Look over there. That's right. Or aim towards me with your belly. Keep your weight in your left seat bone. Good. Supple her. She's not out. Her back isn't up. So you're using this as a training exercise to teach her to keep connected with you. This is like the seventh time we've asked Melody to stay connected on the aids on the bit. So we're just playing with ways to get her comfortable with it. That was good. Let her yeah, walk forward. Again. Yeah, praise her. Yep, yeah, she needs a lot of praise. Yep, get her connected. She's starting to get lucky. You feel that? Yeah. She's almost thinking there should be a mockingbird there because that would be easier than this exercise. Good. Keep your weight in your left iron. More of an angle. More forward. More forward. Yep, more forward. One step forward, one step sideways. Actually, do two steps forward and one step sideways. Forward, forward, and then sideways. Forward, forward, then sideways. That's it. Forward, forward, then sideways. See how that's going to break down what you're doing? And then, yep, just two steps and then straight. So it'll be like two steps straight, two steps sideways at the most. Good. Are you ready to try this at the trot? Take your time. You're just going to try to see if you can keep her connected. And this is a hard exercise to stay connected in, as you notice, because it pushes your buttons and hers, doesn't it? Same thing, you're going to do a shoulder in into a half pass, just thinking two steps straight, two steps forward. Shoulder in, bring her in two steps. That's right, until she gets under you. Good, good. Two steps. Look where you want her to go. Much better angle. And then two steps straight. And then two steps half passy feeling. Yep. Needs to be more supple. Good. Until you feel her carrying your seat over. There. Did you feel her push her seat over? Well, this is hard. She's. We haven't really worked on half passes, so this is not going to be easy for her, are you? Where's her focus? What do you need to do?
That's right. Good. You want to be quicker with that the next time. As soon as she detaches, right away, you want to get her back focused on you. Good. Keep suppling her. Think shoulder in. Give her something else to think about. Good. Two steps half pass, two steps straight. Good. Step in your left iron. Good. Praise her. Supple, supple, supple. Just to the center line. Supple. Praise her. Good, good. She's getting a better feeling of it now, isn't she? Oh, look at her coming up in her neck. Good. All right, let's change the exercise again. Now we're going to do leg yields. Now you learned something as we were doing the half pass, didn't you? Do you notice you learned something when you did the half pass? It'll help you with the, sh with the leg yields. You're going to go two steps forward, two steps sideways. And think of the same angle. Take your time. That's right. That's right. Get her back connected. Ask her for it back. Look where you want her to go. Two steps sideways, two steps forward. Two steps sideways, two steps forward. That's it. And then you're going to aim so you can do it off the center line. You can do a shoulder in into a leg yield. Supple, supple, that's it. Keep her deep in her neck. Two steps sideways. Look where you're going. Two steps straight, keeping her supple. Two steps sideways, two steps straight. Praise her a lot, praise her a lot. Good, good. Come down from the other side. That's nice how she's staying connected with you. This is connection for Melody at this level. She has uh, just started really connecting with us these last couple months. It's taken us a good three to four years to get her to this point because she was a basket case. She's a hot and nervous horse. Good, keep suppling. Always looking for the dreaded mockingbirds. Supple, supple, suppling is the, the steps to success. Soften her jaw, check her pole, make sure her neck is loose, and then check with your leg that she's listening to your leg. Melody, listen to my, yep, leg or rein. Good, just two steps and then straight. That makes it much more relaxing for her, doesn't it? Good. Good. Take a walk break. You probably need a right break now, right? I know. Take a walk break. That was good.